everyone, my name's Cole. I'm here with Level 9 Sports today to tell you a little bit about ski construction and materials. When you're first looking at the outside of a ski, one thing you'll notice is either a sandwich or cap construction sidewall. Cap construction tends to be a very durable layup and is best used in park skis or front mountain skis. So this ski I have here is a great example of the two different types of construction. This is the Armada JJ116. It features Armada's AR75 sidewall. What that means is it's 75% sandwich construction that you can see here, and the other 25% is cap construction. Why they've chosen to do this is the cap construction is very lightweight and durable, which is good for a light swing weight of the tip and tail. And then they've chosen to do a sandwich construction underfoot which provides really good torsional and longitudinal stiffness. Next, we dive into the core. The core of the ski is really what decides how the ski is going to interact and who it's targeted towards. So starting off is the most basic construction, which is a foam injected ski. This is often found on the most basic adult skis and most of the children's skis on the market. Next, we have wood cores. Wood cores are often poppy, have a long life, and are meant to do a lot of things very well. Wood skis are primarily targeted towards beginner to intermediate skiers who are looking to progress their skills. As most skis on the market today do have a wood core, manufacturers have done something different to enhance the performance of their skis. These enhancements are also known as laminates in the core of the ski. Laminates are often made out of fiberglass, carbon fiber, or titanium. Laminates come in all shapes and sizes. It's either going to be a thin sheet through the entire ski, or it might be a stringer, which can sometimes be an X shape through the top sheet of the ski. Fiberglass laminates are going to be best suited towards skiers who are not looking to push the limits of speed, but still want something with a little bit more power in the ski. Fiberglass is very flexy and it comes back really quick, but it does have a short lifespan, even if it's not used. Next, we have carbon fiber stringers or laminates in the skis. Carbon fiber is often used to reduce weight, which it does very well in the ski industry as well. It also enhances dampening and response. The carbon fiber laminates or stringers in the ski are gonna react very much the same as the fiberglass ones. They'll just have a longer lifespan and they often a lighter weight construction. Next, we have metal or titanium laminates or stringers that are put in the skis. These are often a full layer or sheet of metal that's actually added into the makeup of the ski. Oftentimes, manufacturers will use carbon fiber stringers in conjunction with titanium skis, making these skis targeted at advanced skiers who are really looking to push their limits. You will notice on a ski that has a metal laminate in it, when you're skiing at a slower pace, that they do turn very slow and kind of sluggish. That's why these skis are primarily targeted towards expert skiers who are looking to push their limits of speed is when you do open these skis up and get them going fast, the titanium often provides a very smooth, damp ride. Lastly, we will touch on tip and tail technology. Nowadays in the ski industry, we're figuring out that having a light swing weight of your ski is very beneficial. For example, if your ski boot is mounted here and you have a bunch of weight up at the tip of the ski, it's gonna make it really hard to swing that around. That's why a lot of ski manufacturers are creating these technologies to really lighten up and enhance the tips and tails of their skis. That's a basic overview of ski construction and materials. If you have any questions about what we talked about in this video today, please check out our website or call our customer service line.